dissociative bridge students in this video we will learn about dissociative bridge it is used to measure capacitance of a given capacitor and it is also used to compare the two capacitances students the basic bridge is drawn like this such a basic bridge we have already discussed in previous videos its balance condition is given as z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 if we take these components z1 z2 z3 and z4 this way then the resultant bridge is known as dissociative bridge here d be the detector it is either a pair of headphones or null detector and this is an ac source this bridge is used to measure capacitance c1 in terms of standard capacitors c2 and two resistances r3 and r4 here we assume that the condensers are without losses and all the resistances are perfectly non reactive if we compare the components of this bridge with the components of the respective arms of this basic bridge then we found that z1 equal to 1 upon j omega c1 z2 equal to 1 upon j omega c2 z3 equal to r3 and z4 equal to r4 using bridge balance condition that is z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 we can obtain 1 upon j omega c1 into r4 equal to 1 upon j omega c2 into r3 simplifying that is cancelling the j omega on both the sides of the denominator we get r4 upon c1 equal to r3 upon c2 or c1 upon c2 equal to r4 upon r3 these are the bridge balance conditions it is achieved by adjustment of r3 and r4 at the condition of balance the minimum sound is heard in the headphone or maximum separation is obtained between the slits of the null detector the value of capacitance c1 is calculated from this equation when bridge is balanced as the capacitors are pure that is perfect no any internal resistance with them hence adjustment of any one of the resistance from r3 or r4 by keeping another fix the balance is obtained now parameters impedance angle theta this bridge contains perfect capacitor hence voltage drop always lags current by 90 degree and so a capacitor's impedance phase angle is said to be minus 90 degree in practice perfect capacitor is not available hence phase angle is in between 0 to 90 degree power factor the nature of the power factor is always determined by position of current with respect to the voltage for pure that is perfect capacitor the power factor is cos 90 which is equal to 0 since perfect capacitor is not available in practice so power factor is in between 0 to 1 quality factor the q factor that is quality factor q represents the efficiency of a given capacitor in terms of energy losses it is ratio of energy stored in the capacitor to the energy dissipated as thermal losses in the equivalent series resistance for perfect that is pure or ideal capacitor no energy is lost at all in the process of storing energy hence q factor is infinite but actually the ideal capacitor is not available hence q factor has a finite value in practice dissipation factor df in ac circuits dissipation factor is simply the reciprocal of q or df is defined as the ratio of the effective series resistance to the capacitive reactance it is also known as the tangent of the loss angle when 
a ac voltage is applied to an ideal that is pure and perfect capacitor the current advances 90 degree in the phase in case of a practical that is imperfect capacitor current advances in phase is pi by 2 minus delta delta is referred to as loss angle in our case capacitor is perfect hence delta equal to 0 and therefore 10 theta equal to 0 actually no any capacitor is lossless in practice so dissipation factor is real and is greater than 0 that's all students in next video we will discuss about wayne's bridge